This is Real Estate Talk Boston, heading up to the North Shore, and we're going to talk Wakefield area with Michael Barrett from Christopher J. Barrett Realtors. Michael, thanks for stopping by. Christopher, thank you, thank you for having me over. That's an easy one for you, right? That's a very <laughs> easy one for you, for me. <laughs> um, you're part of a family business. Christopher J. Barrett Realtors has been up in, in that market for a long time. I am. My father started the business in 1969. Uh, it's a family-run business, we have, um, but we have 16 agents working for us. Uh, this past year, we had four of the uh, top seven producers in town. Uh, so in, addi in addition to a couple of siblings, we do have some very qualified agents that uh, have been helping us. And you've been selling for over 30 years. I've been in the business for 31 years now. Um, it's a wonderful way to meet people. It's a wonderful way. If you like to help people uh, realize their dreams, it's a great business to be in. It's an exciting business. Um, it's great. You see, unfortunately, you see people at their absolute highs. And unfortunately, you know, we help people through some tough times too. But it's really a nice business to be in. Um, we're a fabric of the community and we have, have been so since uh, 1969. Well, if you want to learn from somebody up in that area that's been around for a long time doing a great job, check out, check out CJ Barrett, realtors.com. Right? Uh, let's talk about the Wakefield market. Right, um, like many markets, inventory is low. We we're talking about swings off air. The numbers are kind of funny when you hear it, but it's it's, it's one of those things you just got to be ready in today's market. Numbers are like anything are numbers, and you can make them look any way you want. Inventory today is up almost fifty percent from Monday. <laughs> uh, five properties came on the market uh, yesterday, and they'll. I would expect uh, there's currently twelve homes for sale in town. Uh, Generally, in most of those homes, they, there's a bidding process that would allow you to have bids due either Monday or Tuesday. I would expect come next Tuesday night, inventory will be down 50 or 60 percent, and the cycle will start all over again. Especially with the numbers being so low right now. With the numbers so low, those, those percentages do change. Uh, last year in town, we, we had about 231 single families that sold. The average sales price was around 535. Okay. Um, with inventory being so low, you've been in the market for a long time. What, what do you think is going to trigger that where, where we, we catch up and, and grow our inventory so we have more options? Currently, supply is not meeting demand, uh, and supply hasn't been meeting demand for, for a, a while. Yeah. So there is a lot of pent-up demand in the market. Um, I don't see supply meeting demand for the current future. Uh, there's not the new housing starts. We don't have the, the raw land available. Um, you do see a bunch of stocks in some multifamily, some apartments, some condos uh, that will help meet a segment of the market, but the market for single families will continue to be competitive for the foreseeable future. And with that competitiveness comes increased prices in a lot of market, there's, there's, there's bidding wars. Uh, are you seeing that in, in Wakefield? Well, we see that uh, consistently in Wakefield. Uh, last year, I think the average list price was around 500 and Twenty thousand uh, dollars for that house that had an average sales price of five thirty-five, about a you know two or three percent uh, increase over the asking price, and that's the whole. That's the market in general. Uh, homes that sell in the first six or seven days, which is a wide percentage of the homes on the market, will tend to sell for you know a little better than you know maybe potentially four or five percent over the asking price. What's great about Wakefield is the numbers that you've thrown around since we started here, is they're affordable to the Boston market. You guys are, are just north of the city, affordable housing, those, those gotta be key factors in what's driving people to Wakefield. Wakefield's always been a you know, popular destination for home buyers. Uh, we sit right on the clover leaf uh, in between 93 and 128. Uh, we have nice access to Boston. There's a, a rail station in town with stops uh, on Albion Street and North Ave and also behind the savings bank uh, in Greenwood. Um, you also have great, great access to Route 1, depending on what part of town you're in, if you need to get to the airport. Those things, competitive schools, uh, Wakefield just renovated, uh, rebuilt the middle school a couple years ago, grades five through eight, that's become very popular. They redid the athletic fields. Uh, we have a very competitive uh, music program in town at the high school. The marching band is uh, phenomenal. So there's, whatever your interest is, it, there's a lot of nice things for you and for families uh, getting together and, and growing up. And you just hit, hit some key points there between schools being strong, location, the cloverleaf, and, and you know, basically 10 to 15 miles north of the city, uh, getting in entry level, it, you know, 
mid 500s, you can do that. There's a lot of towns, probably less than five miles from you, that you can't do that. Sure, well, if you drew a circle around Wakefield and you did a 10, 10 mile radius, you'd have you know, homes on the north, you know, houses on the North Shore a little further north that may not be as active a market and towns closer to the city that are you know, incredibly active. So in, a, in that small area, you'd have a tremendous swing in prices. But yeah, Wakefield's a nice town with, you know, competes favorably with Stoneham and Reading and Melrose, kind of our abutting towns. Sure, and if you're in the market or thinking about jumping into the market on the sell side, now's a great time. Now, the set for sellers, it's a very, very competitive market. Uh, people are paying premiums for houses that are, that are done over. Um, if you're getting ready to put your house in the market, if you can touch up the paint, uh, refinish the floors, there's a whole bunch of little tips to do to help you get, your, get the premium that those redone houses are yielding. If you're not ready to do that and your home is uh, a fixer-upper, then the market is still very strong for those too. So across the board, with the limited inventory, it's a great time to be a seller. If you're a buyer, uh, interest rates are still historically pretty favorable. I know when I brought my first home, I think our five-year adjustable was just a little under 11%. So four and three-eighths for a fixed rate mortgage doesn't look too bad at all. No, and um, anywhere in the fours, right, is, is uh, amazing. We might see them dip down, but even if they were to tick up a little bit in the four, seven, five range or slightly higher, big picture, it's still amazing. And the interest rate shouldn't be driving your real estate purchase. Interest rates aren't currently driving the marketplace. I know in 2014, around the same time of year, we saw rates jump, fixed rates jump from three and five A's to about four and five A's in the period of 60 to 90 days. And then they back back down. I mean, currently we're in a we're in an upswing. Rates have risen, you know, about five eighths of a point over the last forty five days. And it wouldn't be strange to see in the spring the spring market coming to see rates continue to rise. They will peak, and you know, that may force some people to go into some adjustables or other programs. But there's a tremendous amount of first time home buyer programs available that give buyers options to, you know, finance their home. Absolutely, and what goes up usually comes down at some point. At some point, right? at some point. Thanks, great information, Michael. Thank you for stopping by. And if you'd like to connect with Michael and his team directly, you can go to cjbarrettrealtors.com up in the Wakefield area. And remember, we have more real estate tips just like this right here on boston.com.